Hello YouTube, good morning. It's pretty early in the morning and I'm busy with my old cassettes. I found the old tape from way back. Uh, well, one of my first concerts with my band The Darlingtons. And this was kind of way back. And uh, I found the tape. So I needed a tape player as well. So I have here out of my collection the Walkman DD the Sony I use this thing very often this was my computer before before we didn't have no Apple we didn't have no Windows computer at this time this was 1992 I think at that time I was not even interested in computers at that time computers were boring they were this old uh, what was it x86 systems maybe there was a 286 around you know but that was it you know couldn't listen to music with these things at that time maybe you could you know those freaks could but we could not normal people could not they could only hear click click and think hey look here wow the whole thing wow came off oh boy oh boy you see that the glue came off eh? This is the glue of the, oh boy, 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 I will have to glue it again. You see, this was glued. I'm talking about the baby and, okay, but it's still playing. You know, you don't need no crazy things. And let me show you what it is. Here you will see that it's uh, connected to an old computer. Also an old school computer that I not installed Windows 10 on. This is a Windows 10 themed Windows XP computer uh, called the Recorder. And this is uh, in fact the old Pentium, what is it? It's 1.1 GHz, so it's I think it's a Pentium 3, right? Or maybe even a Pentium 4, it has a Celeron processor. It's really old. This thing has only 300 and... Let me see how much RAM it got for you peeps. Uh, settings. Where's my computer? I don't even see my computer there. So let's just go to my computer here. And then right mouse click properties. So you see uh, what you need for uh, music recording is not so much. And you can see, I don't know if you can read it. It's saying... 1.1 uh, gigahertz with 368 megabyte of RAM. So um, I installed my Cool Edit Pro. Because Cool Edit. Oh no, don't start it up again. You. Why is it starting up two times? They should already stop doing these things way back in the 90s. Eh? Okay, so it's not starting up good. Okay, so um, yeah, by connecting the mini disk. To the line in of the computer you will get the sound in you know but let me show you something by clicking on your mixer your sound mixer as you can see here I selected here yeah, properties we go to properties recording properties so um, here you can see um, microphone is selected as input I could not select line in because in fact there is no line in behind this thing you see that I only have two holes one for one for microphone and one for the sound output so in fact this is a a, 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 a sound card that uses boats both uh, both uh, connections on one hole it's doing two things with one hole this is like a superwoman you know uh, just kidding um, microphone and uh, let me see select so we we should have sound so let's hit recording you must keep in mind that the volume you know because it's kind of sensitive on the computer you must make sure that it's not too loud so let's first press play And it's been like that for more than 
25 years I think so let's put it in Opa, this one should play there we go so this is the concert you see you start recording complete show make sure you turn the volume soft there not too loud it can better be soft than loud you see that so now we are recording As you can see it's recording now, don't try to put it louder, take a good look at, at the wave, you see the wave is in between the white lines, and this is what they call a hard disk recording. Here you can put the volume harder or louder, that doesn't matter, because this is just the output volume. So this is how it will sound. It's recording from the line in, straight from the mini disc. You see that? So let me take a look at this mini disc, what is wrong with it. This was my first band you're listening to. And it happens every Make me bring some friends We can get some friends Still in vocal music And everyone will have a jam jam session This thing was running just fine yesterday. I don't know what happened to it. So I will have to glue it again from here. I think I'm gonna get some good glue. Jerry Darlington also not with us anymore so we're just gonna glue this peak and then you know it should work again I think I even have the cover of it you see they came with these covers these were the Apple MacBooks from <laughs> from the 80s peeps at that time these were the only Walkmans created like with good quality Sony you know Sony that's why I always loved Sony respect to Sony thanks to Sony you know we can still pop in batteries 20 years later and just <laughs> wow that's why we don't buy cheap things you understand you can better buy a good second second hand than a new rubbish that's what I say so in fact this is how to you know do hard disk recording peeps and uh, yeah this is how I've been doing it since I've got my computer and always with cool edit mm. 
So what I'm saying and what I'm advising as well is to, you know, if you have an old laptop like this, normally running Windows XP, you know, um, install a light version of Windows XP on it and uh, yeah get her going as a recorder don't throw away your old laptop this thing is going everywhere where i'm going just to make recordings this is my free recorder okay welcome back so we made the recording and I, I i you can see that it's all nice within the lines i recorded it nice and soft but still it's loud listen <laughs> So now we have a cool wave recording. So now we're gonna save it as this was Darlington's part one in Lewenborg. And part two, I'm going to record again because it was too loud. I found better settings with the Walkman, also the volume of the Walkman. You know, I have it on the right setting now. As you can see, it's really low. And also the recording input. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip the tape around and then I'm gonna do the Darlington's two one more time part two and because this is a kind of old computer you can see that it will take up to five minutes to you know to save the file to mp3 it's converting this is a wave file if this was uh, saved as a wave this would be uh, way faster so um, don't worry about it just let it go this is an old computer we're really happy that we can still do great audio recording uh, with this thing um, you know most of the times these old laptops had real good sound cards eh? I'm not saying that this is like a real good sound card but I have for instance uh, I had the old Sony and I have this old compact Armada Pentium 2 you know, um, yeah, <laughs> Pentium 2 400 megahertz can also do this and uh, peeps. So this is what you're seeing here, audio recording can be done with all these old laptops that can still run Windows uh, XP. And uh, let me show you, this is uh, still a video that must come online. But let me show you something. Let me close this cool edit. I opened it two times. But uh, this is the Windows 10 uh, makeover for Windows XP computer. So you won't feel like you're sitting on some old computer. You know, it's a fantastic system that uh, works really nice uh, for its time. It has 300 and something megabytes. So this is not like uh, mommy's fastest. But as you can see, we can do great audio recording with it. Recording part two. As you can see I put the volume the right way so it stays within these two white lines this is really important with you know um, copying them old tapes because you're dealing in fact with the output that has a volume control you know that you can put louder it's not like a, a constant output just like the one well in fact <laughs> the one of your laptop is the same but um yeah it's a very old tape you can hear it 
I think uh, only the musicians that uh, were playing in this uh, in this gig will enjoy listening to this and of course me so I can hear songs that I'm not singing anymore and you know maybe start playing them again so you better do your best man So I hope uh, you liked this uh, little tutorial how to you know record your old tapes to a computer and even put it on CD and on your website your Facebook make other people happy with it peeps thanks for watching if you like well like subscribe and hasta la vista Uh, for historical purposes this complete show will be on my YouTube and for those that uh, want to listen to it and got the vibes because of this video the link will also be in the description thanks again for watching like subscribe Pog Darlington videos channel 48 till the next time bye bye